Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I will show you step by step how you can easily use Connect Team. Connect Team is amazing software that you can use for uh, various things and multiple solutions. Employee communication, time clock, scheduling, checklist forms, employee task management, HR people management. So there are a lot of things that you can do. So let's start uh, with the tutorial. Now let's click get started. And first thing first, first name, last name. Marcus Donelius, business email, and password. Okay, now when you're going to sign up and add an email, possibly there's going to be also verification. So, just check your email. Now, customize your app in one minute, company name, let's go with my company name, what's your role in the company, CEO. Next step, how many employees do you have here? And then what you need to do, uh, you need to also add the business industry, add if it's going to be cleaning, security, manufacturing, food, beverage. So I'm going to, let's say cleaning. Then what are you most interested in? Now this is really important. So for what do you want to actually use? Connect team. You can go with the time tracking, scheduling, checklist forms, communication engagement, task management, employee training, knowledge base, select all. So I'm going to select all, but possibly let's say task management, time tracking, scheduling. And this is what I'm going to focus on. Now, next step. You can also add a logo. If you want, you can upload it or skip step. And what's your phone number? You can uh, also add a phone number and then you can download the app. So I'm going to just okay and then I will just give me a second I will just add my phone number here okay and here we are. So what we can actually do uh, right in your connect team you're gonna see quick actions here uh, you can add users, you can add admins, you can even send update, create a task, go to chat, create a form or get free credits. Now, on the left, you can see overview, activities, what was actually happening. Then you see users here and you can simply add users. Smart groups, smart groups to publish assets and content users automatically with customized filters and rules. So uh, you can have, let's say that you would have a branch in New York and you would have all the people in a group from New York. Then you have rewards, you can activate them. Documents that we can start using, I will show you how to do that. Recognition and you can praise employees work. Then you see things here as communications and operations from time clock forms, job scheduling, quick tasks. What is really great is that Connect Team is really amazing software and simple to use. And this is why even the learning is fun because it's not a struggle. So you see here an overview, what we got here, get up and running no time. So we can activate time clock, activate it. And now, as you can see, we have today, okay, today and timesheet. Wait a second, I'm going to show you. Okay, 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 okay. So I'm going to show you how we can use like first the operations, the time clock. Then I'm going to show you how we can add users and we will go step by step because sometimes there's a lot of things to see and do. Now you see right here that we can go to settings where uh, in which you're going to have the general, you're going to have the work hours for every single work day. You're going to have the work day hours right here. Daily limit, how to clock out. Then you can see also the timesheet locking, who can lock those days and who can unlock those days. It's me, but if I'm going to add users, the administrators, they can lock those and unlock those days too. Then you can have customization here. Decide how users can track their work time. 
and decide which user actions require admin's approval. You can edit it as you desire. Payroll, again, Monday payroll cycle. Overtime, if you have gonna have daily overtime or weekly overtime. Holiday, partial die. So this is where you can add overtimes, breaks, jobs. Now you have the worksite A, project A, these are just for like the default ones that I can learn with. Shift attachments, absences, vacation, non-pay, absence, sick leave, geolocation, reminders. And then uh, you can remind employees who didn't clock in to clock in and remind employees to clock out which didn't clock out. Notifications, auto reports, limitations, clock in limitation and integrations that you have here. Now when you got it, you just click here save changes and then you would see Marcus here, right? And you can simply see uh, the job, the clock in, the clock out, the total hours, regular hours. And you can see that, okay, today, customer A, start, and let's say, Twelve PM, daily total, weekly total, regular, and you can see it right here. Total paid hours free, and then you can simply go to the right and add a shift, or add absence or export it. Now this is how we would you do it. It's pretty simple and pretty easy. Now uh, when you have the time clock here, if you can have any questions about time clock, let me down below in the comments. Then we have uh, operations as a forms here. So you can have create internal digital forms and receive information from employees. Now I can go to the top and click activate forms and I can use a template. So let's say that you're going to have a vacation request or sick leave form. So let's say I'm going to have uh, vacation request form. You can have plenty of forms here that you can use. Select this template. Okay. And now, as you can see, um, this is where you're going to prepare in the vacation request form. And on the right side, you would have um, all the important stuff as a vacation start date, end date, returning date, total number of working days. So, vacation start date. Okay, that's the first thing. You can even move it. See? And then let's say I can add a yes, no. So I can click here and question. Will you come back to work? Confirm. And as you can see, uh, we see on the right side that mm, this is what their form is going to be. And of course, you can add whatever field you want, scanner, image selection, location, file upload, signature. So if you want to have photos from people or uh, some documents, you can add it there. Of course, you can even create your own form uh, that you can send to people. You can personalize it. Then go on the bottom right and click Save Changes. Now, when you have it, how would you like to publish? Selected users. Let's say okay, me. If you can have more users, you would find them here. You can even add user on a, under the form and publish now. Uh, you can schedule the publish. You can notify employees through push notification, push notification, and then next, your asset is ready to go. Confirm. And then you see right here that this is our forms. and I can preview it, how it looks like. So this is how we do it. And this is where you would find your forms. You can even add multiple forms. Then you see a job scheduling. So this is what I want to show you. In job scheduling, again, a new shift. 
So from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., my first shift, select a job, customer A, users, and some node here. And what I can do, I can simply publish it. Okay, and voila, here we got uh, our shift, the job scheduling. What is going to happen? I can edit for whatever day I want. So let's say this one here and what kind of job is going to be. So we can easily uh, schedule it. And that's how the job scheduling works. I don't know what else to share with you. But again, if you can have any questions about the job scheduler, ask me down below in the comments. You can add also multiple shifts, uh, single shifts, import shift from Excel or add from templates. Now, when we have it, uh, I can also add to quick tasks. And here I can add a task, let's say for 28th and then a uh, task title call Zuzana and then you can change to who we are going to assign to location frequency the start date due date labels and then you can have also subtasks under the new task and then you're going to click here publish task and as you can see we're going to have a tasks here and you can simply add tasks to whoever is in your team. Then under quick tasks is again at the new future feature. And you can have plenty of options here as a quizzes, knowledge base, suggestion box, events, text messages, courses, surveys. So you have really option uh, what you can do. And if you can have any questions guys about that, you want to show me something to you deeper. So let's say you would like to uh, for me to show you courses or events. I can do a video on it. Now, when I come here and we go further, I want to show you the users here. So users here, you can simply add a user. And then what are you going to do? Just add a first name, last name and mobile phone. And for every new user, this is what you need to do when then they are going to get an invite and they're going to like approve it and then uh, they're going to install application for mobile. They will have it mobile, but they can also use a web application. Then you can have also rewards here. Now, if you're going to have uh, like some users, some employees, you can have rewards here. Documents here. In documents, uh, onboarding pack. And you can simply add uh, documents. This is how it's simple, how simply it works. When we go even further, we can see the communication uh, chat here and all users team chat. So you can write with people here. Then you're going to see the updates. With updates, you can communicate with your employees quickly, share media and files and track your employee engagement. So this is uh, where you can going to find this directory. Directory allows employees to easily find work contracts and communicate with them in various ways. And then again, I can add features to this section too. So this is pretty much it, how it works. I'm not going to, I can activate whatever I want and then I can see all the people here and then contact them, call them, etc. So everyone in the organization is connected. And this is pretty much how it works. If you can have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I'll be really happy to help you and provide you some guidance. You're always going to see the mobile preview here. So let's say I'm in chat. I'm in time clock. So you can see everything right here. clock in like this. So thank you very much guys and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.